All right, so let's let's get into this. We've got some patterns here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, so the idea is that we want to craft up these guys. So we, we wanna get smelting automated and then we wanna get the other, so basically we wanna be able to make these things on the fly so that we can go ahead and get these drives filled up. I did go ahead off camera and make another 64K, but as you can see, these are starting to fill up quick and the issue we're running into is, oh wow, we used up a lot of it. So check it out. I'm making up a bunch of the Supermium Essence and it's clearing out a bunch of these, but I want all of these filled with 64K, so we're gonna need to get auto crafting uh, pretty much perfected uh, in this episode when it comes to that. Um, so we got two crafters set up here. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a redstone furnace. Are you, okay, we got a resonant one here, perfect. And then that should be pretty much it. We're gonna need some conduits to get power to it. And then, uh, we're gonna need an importer. All right, and I don't think we have it. So like, yeah, we want these getting like auto crafted so we can have a bunch of them on like on hand. Um, and then we should have a bunch of uh, some speed upgrades left over. Yep, we sure do. One, two, three. So we got a total of four. That way it can craft up very quickly. Okay, so we're gonna have basically two lines here, and this middle line will be like nothing pretty much, uh, and we'll export out, if that makes sense. So um, this will be like the return into our system here. So it'll go in the back and out the bottom. Um, let's grab some cable, like so. And I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to place this right. I might just have to break it. So the crafter needs to be going directly out like so into the back of it okay and then the importer can go here and then that'll just connect here and we can wire this over to this bad boy boom yep so this crafter is powered this bad boy is also powered we can get speed upgrades on here nope Okay, so we also need to get one set up for speed upgrades as well. Um, some automation. So we'll go ahead and put these in here. Okay, so that is pretty much all set up. All we need to do is just get the processing ones figured out. And let's get refined storage loaded up. Refined storage. So we need to make a few of these. This is gonna be a processing one. Okay. So I believe, do we have a crafting recipe for that? We do not. Okay. So I'm gonna grab you, grab you and you. We need to make one of each. One of these guys. Okay, and I'm, I always associate stuff like this together so it's easy to make the crafting recipes. Okay, so one of these into the system creates one of these. Okay, and unfortunately if you have these in here and you like do this, it acts funny, but it might not do it like this. Okay, so those are okay. So then one of these equals one of these. Okay, so we can click these out. So there's two of those and then one of this equals one of these, boom. Okay, so these are the recipes we're gonna be putting in here for now. Oh, <laughs> I was like, uh, that, that's a little bit weird. Okay. So now, if we have a few of these in our system, let's go ahead and we'll make the diamond ones. We'll make uh, 10 of them. Uh, Let's take all those out. Let's see, make 10. Okay, yeah, so that's still got power, perfect. And so then we can actually get power in from the top here. We'll use a cable um, a conduit cover. That's the word. So you won't even know these are here. Boom, that's getting power now. 
Yep, and I think it's already done with all 10. Let's see. Yep, check that out. Okay, so we've got it made up to this part. Now we need to automate the making of these. Um, so let's have a look. And then to make these guys. Okay, so silicone is the smelting of nether quartz. So that's what we're going to do. Yep, and we're getting tons of quartz. It's actually the, we have like a heck ton of it right now. So one quartz equals you. Boom, crafting recipe. And then we will put this back here. Oop, I picked up something. Okay, so that's taken care of. And we can put this here for a placeholder. Oops, that is not how you place it. Okay. Oh, it breaks just like glass did. All right, so let's go ahead and what are we doing? Okay, so the next step is going to be making that knife. Oops. All right, where where is the knife? There it is, cutting tool. Okay, so that will be. So we're going to need some of those. I wish there was an unbreakable one. I really do. We might we might have some issues with automating this because of that. Okay, but I digress. We also need to make some seeds for the um, quartz-enriched iron, which won't be very difficult, especially the fact that we have so much stuff now. Okay. Do -do -do. A stack upgrade. Oh. Oh, that could be nifty in the future, but anyway. So, we need to get this in there. Okay. Let's get these into an uh, our crafter. Um, where did you go? Not sure where that one went. Okay. So now there's that, and let's go ahead. Can we make that? We sure can. Okay. This kind of sucks, I'm being honest. Having to take these out each time, not being able to leave it in, like applied energistics. <gasps> what, did I make that? Did I just say that? I did, because I'm angry. I'm an angry turtle. Okay. So let's see here. Processor, let's get all these out of the system. And let's say we want to make 20 of these. Wow. All right, those are auto crafted. And there's a chance that we could be making new tool every time. Okay, so we have that auto-crafted, which is good. But now, we need to get these ones auto-crafted, which should not be difficult at all. I need some patterns. Oh, there that one went. Perfect, I needed two patterns, and two patterns is what I have. All right, and then this one. Boom, shaka laka. That's all of them. What are these ones called? Oh, these are cores. Let's see, let's make 30 cores. Hmm, acted like it was going. And then let's make 30 of these. Are you smelting? Oh, yep, look at that, it is. Mmm, that is beautiful. That is a good thing. Okay. So now that those are done, I need to go ahead and make some more patterns. Uh, where'd you go? 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 I'm blind. There it is. So I am running low on glass. Yeah. We'll have to address that soon. Okay. So now, 1K.
4K. Sixteen K and sixty-four K. The cool thing is, is everything in here is now auto crafted. So don't we have those are fluid? Okay, so let's add these in somewhere. Let's try to auto craft in just one of them. So sixty-four. So we are missing glass. We're going to need to solve that. Darn it. Um, here, let's go ahead and make a re recipe for it. Where'd you go? All right. So we got glass and we got sand. Oof. That is not good. So. We can put that back here too, and it will do the same thing now. Let's see, can we make 164 the thing? Yep, we can. Okay, perfect. All right, it is done. Let's go ahead here. This out of here, get those back. Because I know you can go further with that. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. And then you, oh, that uses, this is 496K. And then is there one bigger? There is 16,384K. Okay, is there a use for this? Just that. Jeez Louise, that is awesome. And we can put that in our system. All right, let's see. Let's see how much we need to make that. Uh, 16, okay, it's here. What? To craft, 168 of these. So we're missing silicone. What the heck? Oh boy. So we need a heck ton of sand. And do we have 12,000? We do, we'll be able to make that. Silicone. Did I not put that recipe in there right? Oh, I did it backwards. Whoops. Uh, let's see. I feel stupid. Okay. So processing. So one quartz makes one silicone. I think I had it in backwards. So it was one silicone makes one quartz. And yeah, that was the mess up. Okay. Now we have the silicone recipe. Let's look again at the 16. Big guy. And that one should be okay now. Yeah. Yeah, that one's okay. But we're going to need to get a sand solution going, which I think if we use some stone factories, we should be able to go ahead and do this. So most of these machines are going to end up getting moved into here. So let me go ahead, and we're just going to knock them out. And this is where our new uh, storage stuff is going to go. So we're going to have cobblestone here, uh, the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. Okay. And we'll just grab these as I need them and find a good spot for them. Or off camera, I'll go ahead and just knock them out. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take that out. Which means that thing's not getting power anymore. But it doesn't burn power just because it wants to, which is good. This is very difficult to break. I'm not a fan. Okay, and we're going to just place it right here up in the roof. Like so. And if you did notice, the um, texture is a little broken on that thing. Okay. Who? Who? 
Oh, we can't get out. We are trapped. Just kidding. All right, so we made 64K. Oops. All right, so let's get a stone working factory. Wait, we'll grab a few. Um, we're gonna need, we got power, no, we need a power cell. Let's make another one. As soon as you type that T, they all just disappear. Okay. And here to link, perfect. This is where the stonework factories will be. Um, let's get some cobblestone down here. Okay. All right, and then we'll power them from just here. Boom, shakalaka, okay. So gravel, we'll just take all the stuff out of here. Okay, you're good, you're good, okay. And then, so we'll have all of the storage drawers over here, over here. Okay, and we'll go ahead We'll use these ones, because these are super duper bright. Okay, and I should have the key. It's not in there. Okay, we'll max upgrade those all, and I think, I don't know, should we do a void upgrade? Okay, so I got 40 things of these left. I don't think I'll do a void upgrade because they will stop on their own. Um, let's see. Okay, those are good. And yeah, we didn't have enough. It's okay. Need the key. Drawer key. And then we need the a drawer controller. Oh, out of redstone torches. Back when redstone was an issue. Okay. Drawer controller. Perfect. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and place this here like so. And then we're going to have to have an external storage area. So external storage, not area. One of these guys that will see the inventory. Take the importer away. Yay! Storing externally. Thanks. Thanks, game. So these will come over here. Let's go like this and lock all of them. Did that do the trick? Hmm. It did not. So those are all locked. That means nothing can be stored in there unless I say, hey, store it in there. Okay, and then actually we should just go around the back here. Because we can. And let's see here. We need to grab conduit. Item conduit. Oh, we're running low on that stuff. Why did that split? Wiggity wiggity whack, the snack that smiles back, goldfish. <laughs> that was so silly. <laughs> okay, so we need to break down here so I can. Oh, just get. Oh, okay, let's break two. And so this needs to be on insert. Hmm. 
Yeah, <laughs> this is an even wall. Uh, this makes it tough. Uh, let's see, what can we do? Uh, we could always just knock out the bottom and add a few more, but then I don't know what we do with all that storage. Hmm, decisions, decisions. Drawer controller. What if we just added two and one was for show? <laughs> we could always do that. Uh, so let's go here and here. That worked. Okay, so it's extracting. Stop. Extract only that one. You're not listening. You're not listening. Where's that even going? So confused. Do you not know how to? What? Let's just let's just do one of these to all of them, except the one we want, which is green. Oh, you've messed up. Nope. What is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. Give me a second. All right, so it makes sense. Problem was is the sand didn't have anywhere to go, so when I went ahead and made this spot for it, it made it able to get moved over into that, if that makes any sense to you guys. Trust me, it makes sense to me. So we're gonna move this one to sand as well. This one can extract, and we'll extract the sand. Yep. So this one will extract the gravel, but we need to give it a spot to go. So let's go ahead and grab the gravel here. We'll just place it right there. So now, if we set this to extract, you should start to see, yep, it's going down. Perfect, so this will be generating gravel whenever it's ready. Yay, that's awesome. That is awesome. Like a sauce, like a sauce sauce. Okay. <sighs> Do, do, do. Hmm. That makes it tough. That means we gotta come through here like so, but then the water's there. Bye, water. We'll just get a sink. Okay, external storage, like so. Boom. And we did it. Now we have automated glass. Automated gravel. Sand and gravel, we are doing it. And let's go ahead and block off this one. So sand is getting. It doesn't listen very well. I said specifically not to come out the back, but it, uh, it does. Not come out anywhere of that. Okay. Um, let's do that. And we will extract as well. Shut up, drive. I don't know what to do with that one yet. But that is it all hooked up. So let's have a wee gander at our progress. Okay, so we won't ever, we won't need to break that one again. I literally just, I, I didn't even try to have an accent with that one. And it just, it just appeared out of nowhere. A refined storage block like that. Okay. 
Sue, we're making sand. Yes, we are. Look at that. Okay, let's see about the 16 guy. How much more sand do we need? Oh, we need 5,000 more sand. We're going to be here for a while. <laughs> But anyway, guys, that is it for today. We went ahead and automated all the, the processors and crafting course and even got some uh, um, gravel and sand set up. So if you guys did enjoy the episode, please do hit that like button. And please don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. Bye-bye.